babes, welcome back, I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I wanna talk about luxury items that you do not need. Obviously, you don't need any luxury items at all, um, but if you're someone like me that loves to shop and that loves to spend their money on luxury items, I think this video could be possibly, potentially really helpful for you, especially if you are, let's say, a minimalist and sometimes you know you can't decide what you should get, or maybe if you're on a budget and you don't have all the money in the world to buy all the luxury goods. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go over a few things that I think we can skip on buying luxury and find for a much better price and sometimes even like much better quality. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's start off with number one, which is luxury brand skincare. Now I have really problematic skin. I have acne, I have dry skin, I have very, very sensitive skin. And I truly believe that if you wanna do something good and beneficial to your skin, I would rather invest in medical grade skincare than wasting my money on luxury skincare. Um, so basically go to your dermatologist or maybe go to a website that sells medical grade skincare. Obviously make sure that it's it's a legit website um, versus wasting a thousand dollars on a La Mer moisturizer that really does nothing beneficial for your skin. And I know that so many people love the La Mer moisturizer and are probably screaming right now. But honestly, there is like no, there's nothing proven that it like actually really improves or helps your skin. So why spend a thousand dollars on a moisturizer when you can buy one for maybe a hundred that is really going to help your skin? So yeah, I totally think that uh, luxury skincare is an absolute waste of money. Next up, I want to talk about ready to wear fashion. And I really wanted to talk about this because, well, 90% of the time ready to wear fashion is very popular and very trendy pieces. And what happens with trendy pieces? Well, my friend, they go out of style. And now you are sitting on a t-shirt that you probably spend $600 on and you don't want to wear it anymore because it's totally out. Nobody wears it anymore and you don't like it anymore. So yeah, I would definitely say with ready to wear fashion, um, I, I would definitely save my money and buy something that is more timeless and classic and that costs a little bit less money, but the quality is really good. Um, and I've, I've made that mistake before guys. Like I have a couple of t-shirts um, and even skirts and things in my wardrobe that I spend a lot of money on like a lot of money on and that I've either had maybe for two or three years and I've washed them a couple times and I'm really careful with my clothing um, but maybe it just doesn't look as good anymore and I think to myself you know what I could have saved probably four hundred dollars bought an equally like equally as good quality of an item and um, yeah I mean it's just all about what you like I mean if you have tons of money to spend and you want to wear ready to wear fashion I mean go ahead and go for it but if you're some Someone that you know doesn't just want to throw money around you know wastefully then I think that this is definitely something that that we can skip and moving on to Louis Vuitton luggage I feel like this is very popular a lot of people love Louis Vuitton luggage and a lot of the times I think it has a lot to do with status and I mean I could be wrong but that's just what I think I personally would not spend my money on uh, luggage because it just gets thrown around and I would be way too worried about you know my suitcase getting damaged or anything like that again if you're someone that you know loves luggage and you want Louis Vuitton luggage because it's special to you or because it's just something that you want to spend your money on, absolutely go ahead and do it. You know, buy whatever you like. But again, if you feel like you need it just because it's cool and everybody else has it and you know, it kind of symbolizes status, I definitely think it's something we can skip on. I'd much rather buy a nice bag than hauling around a Louis Vuitton suitcase or something like that that's just going to end up getting damaged and ruined. All right, let's move on to freaking luxury headbands dear god unless you're freaking rich and that is just like you just want to flex on people please do not waste your money and i mean waste on luxury headbands um i honestly didn't even know that this was a thing until i saw someone with a fendi headband and i looked up the price just out of curiosity and i think it was like four or five hundred dollars and i almost fell off my freaking chair like what in the actual f <laughs> like first of all this is super trendy right now like a year ago no one wore headbands maybe i'm wrong maybe it was two years ago but whatever like no one wore headbands they were like a thing of Gossip Girl and now everyone is wearing them so obviously they're super popular at the moment and I just really think that I don't think it's gonna stick around for a long time and even if it does 
you can get a really, really nice headband for 12 bucks. Like do not spend 400 freaking dollars. That is absolutely like insane. Okay, number five, I feel like is not gonna apply to everyone, okay? So keep that in mind, but I'm speaking out of personal experience and if you're anything like me, then I definitely think that, you know, this will apply to you as well. And it is Chanel brooches. Now, I wanna start off by saying that most of us do not have an endless amount of money to spend. You know, a lot of us have to work for a living. We have to save our money. We have to work hard to buy the things that we do. And for me, like, I really thought I wanted a Chanel brooch because why? Well, it's really pretty. And I just thought that I could, you know, style it up a lot of different ways. Well, what ended up happening is I spent about $500 on a brooch and it was really beautiful. It was, but I never wore it. And it really just sat in my closet. Now, most of you know that I buy designer shoes and a lot of you can argue that that is a real waste as well, because what do you do with designer shoes or with shoes in general, general, you like walk with them on the floor or on the ground, right? And you mess them up. Um, but at least I'm using them. And for me, it's all about getting, um, you know, use out of the items that I purchase because I'm working hard for them and I want to make sure that I get a lot of use out of the stuff that I buy. So for me, Chanel brooches are just not worth it. And I would much rather invest in, in something else that I would use a lot more. Now, if you're someone that loves brooches and you wear them all the time, then again, absolutely it might be something that's worth it for you but if you're anything like me um, I, I, I don't think it's something to spend your money on and last but not least is a Chanel bag and this might shock a lot of you but I really again wanted to talk about this because I do like I hear it often when I like talk to people they're like oh you know I, I love designer bags I just I can't afford a Chanel bag and but I really want one it's like you know the number one bag to have if you love designer bags okay trust me do not go bankrupt or i don't know take out a loan or anything like that for a chanel bag it is simply not worth it okay if you have the money for it absolutely go for it um but there are other designer brands out there that are a lot cheaper i mean we all know chanel is so expensive um but yeah there are other designer uh brands out there where you can buy a designer bag for a lot cheaper and uh, honestly People are probably gonna freaking hate me, but I do not see a freaking difference between my Chanel bag and my Gucci Dionysus, or my Chanel bag and my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, and there's a huge price difference. So don't feel, all I'm trying to say is you don't have to feel like you need a Chanel bag because it's like the thing to have. Um, and I know all the Chanel lovers are gonna come for me now. I'm sorry, didn't mean to offend anyone. I still love Chanel, but I'm just saying, you know, if it's not, if you don't truly love it and if it's not a label that you're like obsessed with, you know, don't, don't go bankrupt for it. Um, and that is it for today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Check out my latest video right here. Please do. And um, I'll see you in my next one. Oh, no.